Good morning, everybody. It snowed last night, but you wouldn't really ever be able to know that because the beautiful warm morning sun has already melted most of it. So here's what little remains. So enjoy. <laughs> but honestly, I am. I am kind of been loving this dry winter Nebraska has been having. I am not gonna complain at all. So you guys are gonna laugh, okay? So just try not to. Will it start? It's kind of doubtful, honestly. Um, there's, I don't know if you can tell, it's a nice crack in this hood, but we have a new one ordered, so we'll be putting a new one on soon. Um, I'm going to flip the battery on, because we actually have a battery disconnect for this, so I can't blame the battery being on as an excuse to not start. I'm nervous though. Another day, another piece of equipment to put the battery charger on. It should be right where I left it. Yup, even got the extension cord, all ready to go. I've worn out the wheels on this thing. <sighs> I feel like a pro with batteries now, even though I will say they still kind of scare me. I don't know, electricity. I just don't feel very comfortable around it. <sighs> While we let that sit, I realized that it did just snow last night. However, I feel like spring cleaning is in order or maybe just cleaning in general. So we're going to be doing a quick shop cleanup, sweep, power wash type thing, a little organization. But before we can do that, I need to put a battery in a four wheeler. So yes, the battery um, <laughs> was faulty in this one. So we did just go ahead and get a new battery. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit, get all this junk out of here, plug it in, and then put the seats back. I feel like this would normally be the time where someone makes a comment about doing jobs with my long nails. However, I feel like a lot of people would be pleased to see that I no longer have fake nails on. It was just time for a little break. Dad is hauling in beans right now. And so before he gets back with that load, I'm going to start his other loaded truck. So it's aired up, warmed up, ready to go as soon as he gets back. Now, surely this will start, right? Did anyone else just see that? Did anyone else just see that owl? I cannot believe I got there. That thing was massive. Oh my goodness, I have never seen an owl that close before. That was so cool. Okay, wow. <laughs> okay, anyways, back to starting this truck. Oh, come on. Now, I'm going to prove to you that pumping the accelerator does work. Ready? I told you the accelerator worked. Woo! That's a little 
chilly outside. Do you think this thing has been charging long enough? Should we try it? Nah, we better give it a little bit longer. There's been a lot of really cool, like great technological advances in farming in the past 100 years, in the past 10 years, even in the past like, five years. Something that I think is super cool, and maybe this seems really small, but dad is hauling in loads of beans and the scale kit tickets get delivered right to my watch. So if I click on that, I can see my entire scale ticket. Maybe it's silly. I think that's really cool. It helps my record keeping immensely because I'm not worried about one tiny little piece of paper that maybe blows away or maybe it gets lost or any number of things. I have it right on my watch. I have it right on my phone, right on my computer. Do you hear that sound? It's funny, I'm talking about all this new technology on the farm. We definitely still have a landline. Does anyone else still have landlines? <laughs> Anyways, so a little cleanup out here. It is that time of year. Oh, you can't see me, he's hiding behind a tree. We have calves, poor grandma, just wandering. Look at them all. They are not confined. They're just roaming about, enjoying the sunshine exploring they won't go far because their moms are here but it's kind of cute they're like little cats but they're cows look dad it's one of yours here grass for sale <laughs> come get some it's good for you it's got a little it's got frosting on it <laughs> he's like mm, i'll stuck to milk thanks though cake with frosting <laughs> good for you and now, on to floor cleaning. I realize that things don't look organized, but I promise you, they are. They are. But the little cleanup I'm going to do, um, because we should be getting the planner in the shop here soon, is I'm just going to do a quick sweep of things to get like all the corn husks and stuff up. And then I'm going to power wash to get the dirt and dust out. Morning, everyone. I am working on the planter once again, but I'm not actually working on the planter. Our new to me planter has all precision row units on it, so that is all electrically driven computerized planting system. And to run all that, I have to run a bunch of cords and wires through the tractor. So I've got one of the monitors mounted in there, but to power the whole thing, I have to run this pretty big cable up to the batteries, which are up here under the cab and that is proving to be quite challenging. I pulled a bunch of cupboards off and I'm just weaving that thing through underneath the cab. So that's a lot of fun. All sorts of other cables to plug into the planter itself and the monitors inside the cab. So we got directions and everything. So I'm just trying to put this puzzle together one piece at a time without forgetting anything or making sure a wire doesn't get pinched somewhere. So just lots of fun stuff. Three thirty is officially started. Time to unhook the harrow. Look at that mom and new baby. That's sweet. All the other cows are at the bunk eating all lined up. That mom. Oh man cares more about the calf than eating. So sweet. Um, I'm going to hook up to one of the silage wagons. 
And you might be thinking, Laura, it's March. You're chopping silage? No. No, we are not chopping silage. However, we are using the wagons to transport some uh, corn cobs to help bed down the cows. Ooh, look at this. Look at this pretty lineup of tractors. Wow, that's nice. What a beaut, huh? Still being used, lovely as ever. We got our silage wagon. And then here's our pile of corn cobs. And not only will this provide excellent bedding for the cows, they'll find some corn in there to snack on. So in a few videos, I've shown our new anhydrous bar that we got, which is super exciting. It is all plumbed and should be all ready to go. And then also a new addition is this. Everyone's gonna make fun of me. It's a root slicer, root slicer, whatever you want to call it. Also called a stumper or a stock puller. It goes by many names. Um, this is an Orthman bar and we traded our old one in and it's so shiny and new. It is beautiful. So essentially when it's unfolded, these discs will run along the row of corn stalks and just pull the root ball right up, leaving us a nice place to plant. This must just be the day for animals. Oh my goodness, do you see the pheasants? Two beautiful male pheasants. Oh, they are lovely. So winter, I guess, I don't know. It doesn't have like the best sunsets because there's not a lot of clouds in the sky and it's usually just really, really bright. However, it turns everything the most beautiful orangey color and the color develops and changes like every second but it's only around for like five minutes in the evening but i just wanted to share this with you guys it's so beautiful and i just wanted to say good night thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye